back. WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore positive. Yeah, the football season is over, but not really because we're going to be sitting around watching Super Wild Card Weekend and Divisional Playoff Weekend. And I might even be going to the Super Bowl next month for the 28th year, although I would say in a row, but we took last year off. I don't know. I have plans to go to the Super Bowl, but either way, I gain weight during the holidays. Uh, I'm still gaining weight. I still have like this much eggnog left. I had eggnog ice cream at 3 a.m. today. So um, I need Alyssa here from uh, from Wise Mark to join us. Alyssa Marsh joins us uh, once again. And, and this is going to be we've talked about all sorts of food. You make me hungry when I come on. And, you know, some people are like, oh, salad. It doesn't fill me up. I eat a lot of salad. I did not eat a lot of salad during the holidays. I will be honest with you. But in the summer, I eat a ton of salad. But I, my wife sent me to the grocery store and said, we got to get some salad. So last week, I came back with these giant organic girl salad things. And I brought it home. And I got a little bit sassed on Sunday. Because I thought I picked up like spring mix. I picked up the 50% spring mix, 50% spinach. So I thought maybe it was just God's way of telling me I needed more spinach in my diet. Alyssa, we're here to talk about salads. I know. Uh, and you know, why is this put this, but you don't have to hard sell me on the salads. I'm ready for organic. I'm ready for green. I'm all about the salads, even though I talk about eating all the good stuff. Yeah. Thank you for having me. So I'm here today to talk about the, our produce department salad your way event, but then also tips on making the perfect salad and how salad is actually healthy and beneficial for your body. The perfect salad is having my wife do it. Cause every time she makes yes. a salad, it's perfect. <laughs> and she's like, you just don't like cutting. And I'm like, no, I do it when she's not here and it doesn't taste the same. I don't put it together. I like pretty salads and I'm trying to figure out how to make that better, but there's not much I won't eat in the salad. So when you start talking radishes, I don't do radishes. I don't do beets, but almost everything else in the entire produce department, I will either eat or you could put some sort of dressing on it that will make me want to eat it. But, uh, but, uh, but this time of year, uh, I, I think storage is probably the number one thing, right? I mean, you buy fresh spinach, sometimes it gets a little slimy for lack of, you know, that's what happens to spinach if you don't keep it the right way. Yes, that is very true. Um, so the deal in our produce department, um, it's buy two, get one free now through February 3rd. And then tips on keeping your salad more fresh um, all week. I like to use those multi-container containers, those sections that um, you can divide your food in. So that way you can have lettuce in one container and cheese in a different one, and then some maybe nuts for your salad or other vegetables. That way it stays fresh longer. Um, other ideas of making a salad that's fresh all week is I'll actually take the dressing and put that down first and then put something like heartier on top of it, like maybe pickles or a nut or dried fruit, and then put the lettuce on the top. So and then you let it stay flat for a while. Yep, exactly. And then when you're ready to eat it, you just shake the container up and then the dressing will get throughout uh, the salad. I've become a healthy dressing person. Um, th the strangest thing is I've been eating dressings my whole life. They dump them on salads. I'm always a skimmy it on the side when I'm at a restaurant. That way I sort of manage my own, unless I'm getting like a chopped salad at Roost Chris or something, I'll say, all right, go ahead, dump it in there. But for the most part, I, I, I control my, uh, my portion, but dressings have gotten so good. Uh, and I don't just mean like low fat or no fat or whatever, but when I can go through a, a dressing aisle and find all sorts of vinaigrettes and all sorts of mixes and different kinds. I remember when there were like three kinds of dressing. It was like Thousand Island French and like uh, Italian or whatever. Now I, I see all sorts of Gucci dressings that when I see the recipes, I start to see the blenders when I watch the shows now. And I, I think to myself – creativity for how to make a salad, how to make a salad delicious. It's out there. Oh, that is so true. Um, so the dressings in our produce department, the refrigerated ones are part of the buy two, get one free sale. And there are so many different flavors. Um, they are, you know, ones that I like, and then there's ones that are more healthy for you. But if you also want to create something yourself, there are tips on how to make a healthier dressing by using like a Greek yogurt, a sour cream, or like a vinaigrette base. You know, sitting around here watching all these other teams play playoff football, I'm probably going to want some wings, and that's going to make me get some blue cheese, right? Not ranch, never ranch. No, never blue cheese. I'm a, no, blue cheese on the <laughs> wings. Um, but, I, you know, for, for me, I, the, the healthier ones, uh, the vinaigrettes, the lighter dressings, the oil and vinegar-based dressings, uh, and you can even dress them up a little bit. But but for me, I, I talk about this in the summertime when it comes to salads. That I, I'm 53 now, I'm old, and I know I've talked to you about this. Like 15 years ago, I would have said, 
Oh, just put some lettuce on it. It's just lettuce. I want some lettuce in a salad. Now I find that there's 25 different kinds of lettuce and bibs and, uh, you know, and, and all sorts of organic stuff and different ways to have spring greens and radicchio and things I don't even know how to pronounce 15 years ago, but trying different things. But in the summertime, when I get fresh things, you get organic things. And sometimes in the winter, it's hard to sort of um, emulate a perfect garden tomato that's grown in the summer or fresh summer corn. But I, I don't want to like, um, it, it, once it gets in the winter, I'll still eat spinach. I'll still eat lettuce. It doesn't have to be summer fresh in that sort of way for me. But I, I do like throwing it away is a concern. I, I bought that 50, 50 I bought is one of those giant containers. And once I bring it home, my wife's like, all right, salad every night this week, or it's going to go bad. So, um, so I think once you bring it home, finding creative ways and tomatoes and cukes, my wife sent me out this week to get the little cucumbers. You know, the ones I'm talking about, mm -hmm. I had never Thanks. eaten those in my life until like last summer. <laughs> that is so cool. And you brought up the fact with the tomatoes. That's another uh, trick to keep salad fresh is by using little cherry tomatoes instead of slicing up a bigger tomato. Um, that way the juice doesn't make the lettuce or the cheese, whatever you have on the salad, get soggy or go bad. So make sure to use vegetables that you can use whole instead of having to slice up will definitely help keep a salad fresh too. So you can pack for your lunch or at dinner time. Uh, dinner's a great time to have salads because it's a build your own. So even with kids, I think it's more um, helpful if you have something that they can customize, they're more likely to eat more healthy if they can make it themselves. So by putting all the dressings and toppings in little bowls for them to create it themselves definitely helps your whole family eat better. It's aren't the only ones that like the little cherry tomatoes that pop in your mouth. I mean, they're still fun for me when I have them. Melissa Marsh is here. She is from Wise Markets. We're talking about being healthy here in the aftermath of oh, all the things that we did. Uh, the pies. I, I had apple pie. This is a true story. I had apple pie and cinnamon, wise market cinnamon. I bought the cinnamon ice cream because my wife learned how to bake an apple pie. She went to pie school with her sister back before Christmas, made this beautiful homemade delicious thing and I needed ice cream for it. And, I, and the cinnamon ice cream at Wise, I know it doesn't sound sexy. It doesn't sound as much fun as some of the holiday flavors or the seasonals or the chocolate chocolate chip and all, like all that. But the cinnamon ice cream and some apple pie, we've been eating really well around here, Alyssa. And, and like, I really appreciate you salading me up on a day when I already feel guilty about eating apple pie and cinnamon ice cream at 3 a.m. with a small scoop of the eggnog ice cream in my Rofo coffee because I just – I got to get rid of it. I've got extra eggnog. I complained about not having enough eggnog. Now it's middle of January, and I have extra eggnog around. So I feel like Wise did me proud during the holidays. I have enough eggnog to make it into January. <laughs> That's good to hear. And I love a good apple pie. Apple pie and cinnamon ice cream sounds amazing. But yes, eating a salad before your meal or before a dessert can help as well. Because by eating a salad, it makes you feel more full. So you have less of the calories or bad fat afterwards. Um, so that's another tip to eat a salad as an appetizer or um, as a dish before a main meal will definitely help you feel more full and get more of the veggies that you need and have that healthy balance. And it helps hydrate you. There's a lot of water in vegetables and fruits. So that helps your skin look nice and stay hydrated throughout the Are day. Are you saying I'm starting to come back together again? <laughs> finally. Uh, yeah. You know, we're moving uh, in a couple of weeks, about, about a week and a half, and we've lived downtown for 18 years. And people say, why do you want to move? It's so beautiful where you live and the view, and this is our view and like all that. And we've never had an outdoor space here in 18 and a half years. We've never – like my wife was growing like um, thyme and and like like little garden things in the house, and the bugs were flying. So we're moving out to the country, and we're going to have a garden. And my former bandmate, my keyboard player in my band, the great Ron West of Dundalk, ha he is a green thumb and he is a tomato guy. So every year he grows these purple Cherokees and all these delicious tomatoes. So it's got me all fired up now. You start the season the right way, starting me off on some greens here, getting me ready for springtime and some planting, getting me ready for summer and fresh vegetables, just in time for me to get rid of all my eggnog. And uh, I still have peppermint stick ice cream too, uh, Alyssa, just so you know. Uh, I did a little bit too much. I was a little too wise during the holidays in my, uh, in my shopping. But uh, we're getting rid of all the pie and the bad stuff. And I'm moving on to the lettuce. What are we going to talk about? next month valentine you're gonna have me eating chocolate and valentine's next month aren't you oh yeah chocolate covered strawberries cake <laughs> we have to have a balance right 
Oh, dark chocolate, white chocolate. I'm not a big milk chocolate guy. We'll talk about that. I mean, I'm I'm always dark and white chocolate. Alyssa's here. She's from Wise Markets. I want to remind everybody uh, that e- e- whether we're in school this week or not, Wise for School is still there, taking care of kids. Make sure you, you check out that program. But the biggest thing I learned during the holidays, I embarrassed myself with your partner, Hannah, last month. I uh, We talked about my, my Wise app and rounding up. By the way, we got our ham. Rob Santoni took care of the ham the day after. And I put pictures of all this up. We got a 13 pound ham for Christmas. There's only two of us. So we had 11.8 pounds of ham left that we equally distribu- distributed between bean soup and split pea soup. So we have like lots and lots of leftovers going on. You know, we did a lot of shopping during the holidays. So, but this chocolate argument, I'm all about the chocolate argument next month. I'm, I'm, I think any chocolate's a good chocolate for Valentine's Day. Oh, me too. I love all chocolate. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So <laughs> month of <laughs> salads are going to have me in the mood for Valentine's Day. Alyssa Marsh is here. Make sure you're checking out everything we're doing. Um, and, uh, Life for school, but also rounding up. I guess that's why I wanted to talk about the ham and about the app because I learned my password now. My app actually works when I check. I know my phone number, but I didn't know how many points I had. Now I know how many points I have. So I can get gas. I can get a ham. I can check out. So I learned how to do all that during the holidays. And, you know, you taught me a little bit about lettuce here. At least keep it top of mind that the next time I'm in the aisle, I don't pick up the 50-50. I bring home the legit spring mix that I need to do. Sounds good. Yep. And while you're there next, uh, make sure you stop and check all the deals in the produce department. I mean, when you get something for free, you want to, it makes you want to try it more. So you could buy the lettuce, you could buy the dressing and then get a topping for free with the buy two, get one free event. It made me reset my password on my app. Yeah. <laughs> Alyssa Marsh from Wise Markets having our wise conversations. Uh, I'm drinking it all up. We're into the new year trying to keep spirits high here, despite the fact that uh, we have to watch the Steelers play at least for one weekend uh, and the Patriots and the Bills and all these other teams. Uh, we're going to get back to sports, get back to some uh, topical conversations as well. Don Moe is going to be with us this week. Uh, we're doing some Baltimore positive stuff with teaching and teachers later on this month. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, we're going to get back out on the Maryland Crab Cake Tour presented by the Maryland Lottery, letting ourselves play. Right now, we're masked up. We're hanging out. We were going to be at Nacho Mama's this week for Elvis's birthday. We decided to punt on that for a couple of weeks, but we're going to start the tour up in early February uh, as we get going at Nacho Mama's in Canton. I am Nestor. We are WNSD. Having our wise conversations, having our fun around here, trying to stay warm into January. We are WNST, AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore. We never stop talking. Baltimore, positive.